What is happening good people of YouTube and welcome back to the Overly Gaming Project. Today's video we are back here in Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. I believe this is episode number 41. Well, in the last video, we wrapped up, I think it was season number eight, and we have now made our way to the Pro Predator Tour. And we're missing some sponsors. I mean, look, no sponsors. You can see it right there on the screen. I mean, look at the payouts here from Blazer Boats. I don't know, we don't really use Blazer Boats, but that's fine. Let's uh, pick them up as a sponsor. All right, we all know what happens when we try to negotiate a deal. We're not going to do that. We're just going to accept this deal. Bam! Blazer Boats. They're on our shirt. And take a look at the U.S. Angling Confederation. Man, they pay out a lot of money, too. Let's go ahead and sign up with them. Bam! We've accepted that deal, too. Man, we have got a lot of writing on our shirt right now. And that's pretty good. All the way back, I believe it was season one, Great Clips was our sponsor. And that's the only place we got a haircut. And we are doing the same thing here in the Pro Predator Tour. Great Clips coming on board as a sponsor. And they're going to cut our hair. Let's accept that deal. Bam! There it is. Great Clips right there on the front of our shirt. That's pretty awesome. Oh, here it is. The Pro Predator Tour. Now we did have some invitationals from some sponsors. We didn't go. We were too busy polishing all of our trophies that we've had from the previous tours. And we were practicing out at Grand Union for the Waterways Championship. And that's what's coming up right now. It's in the afternoon. Heavy rain is the weather. That kind of sucks. Honestly, I don't like fishing in the rain. I don't think anybody likes fishing in the rain, but we have to do it in order to get paid. And that's what this is all about. Winning that tournament, getting that green. You know the motto. I mean, I don't have to repeat it. I think we all know it. So let's get out on the water. Grand Union, the Waterways Championship. Man, this is awesome. All right, I've made a special tackle box for Grand Union based on our practice. Let me show you what we got. All right, we got a 10 foot sonic extractor rod, a four one to one tournament spinning reel. We got 40 pound black braid with a crank rig and some smelt heads. We are gonna cast these two first two rods here. We're gonna cast them out and try and catch some catfish. We'll let them sit there. But the third rod, the ducket fishing bait caster with a six three to one ducket fishing white reel. 40 pound braid and we are going with the bait shack big dog perch 16 inch bait and i have got a secret secret surprise for this tournament we are going to try and catch some trophy predator fish namely musky that's right you heard it here first all right here is the thing with this map we are going to start right here kind of in the middle right around this bridge is where we want to be hello and welcome to the venue for the next event on the tour while the competitors are getting ready for the action to begin let's take a look at the rules for today's event all right the rules are simple it's the total length of the fish that you catch grab your rulers you're gonna need them all right round one three two one all right, let's get to the water. All right, we got some walking to do. We are just gonna walk right down here, the other side of this bridge, some little steps down, and this is the spot that you wanna be in. There are some big fish over here. All right, we're gonna claim the peg. All right, we have claimed the peg, rod number one, the smelt head, and we're just gonna cast this right over here, the other side of the waterway. Bloop, just let it sit and put the rod down. All right, same thing for rod number two. We're gonna cast a little bit over to the right. 97% cast strength, that's great. Bloop, all right, set it right down. All right, now these rods are gonna sit there. We're gonna try and catch the catfish and let's pick up the big dog perch. And here we go. Now here's what you're gonna do with this. You're not gonna cast it over here. You are gonna turn around and we are gonna sling this sideways right underneath this bridge. Here we go. 100% cast strength. Pshow! And that big old fishy thing is going to go in the water. Lift up your rod tip a little bit. Start reeling it back. Giving it a couple twitches here. A little stop and go action. 
There are some humongous muskies over here, and they love this fish. And just keep hitting that trigger, kind of a stop and go thing, keeping it towards the top of the water column. And you'll see in the water, if it's clear enough, there are some big ass fish swimming behind this thing. All right, it's gonna take a few casts, and every time you cast it, you gotta face this way to hit the cast button, and then just flip on around, and let's sidearm this thing underneath that bridge. Whoops, that was a horrible cast. Let's try it again. There we go, much better. 100% cast strength. Pew! And you're just bringing this back. I use a level three retrieval, and I'm on the, the trigger, off the trigger, kind of constant uh, slow or stop and go. Just letting that bait rise, letting that bait fall, and hopefully one of these big musky mamas is going to slurp that thing up. All right, and just keep trying it. I mean, it might take you 10, 15 casts, but you are going to catch one of these fish, I'm telling you. You're going to hook one, and when you do, it's going to be humongous, and the fight is on. Every once in a while, I'll take a look at rod number one, rod number two, see if there's any action, and there isn't. All right, here we go. Casting it right out there. Now we're going to use a level 2 retrieval, just kind of a straight retrieval back to us. When that bait starts to get to the top of the water column, you just kind of let it sink a little bit. Look, look at behind it. Look at that big old muskie right there. You can see them in the water. They are really attracted to this thing. You just got to be patient. All right, here we go. Fling them all out there. Let it sink a little bit. Sometimes the fish will wait until you're right on the edge of these lily pads to strike it. There we go, 100% cast strength. Fling it out there, and level two retrieval right back here. We're only in about five feet of water here. All right, like I said, might take a few casts. You're gonna have to switch up between level three and level two retrievals. Level three retrieval, just kinda stop and go. Just let that thing fall, then bring it up to the top, and let it fall, and do that over and over again. Still no takers on rod number one or rod number two, but we are continuing this method. I'm telling you, it worked for me in practice. There are some humongous fish back here. Honestly, you just gotta be patient. Oh, look at the muskie swimming right by it. Oh, here he goes, ba bam Oh, it's a poor strike, poor strike, but we did get a big muskie to take it. All right, here we go, fish is on. It's a poor hook set, but that is a big fish. And notice how it took it right at the end. It was following it, we stopped it, we jiggled it, we wiggled it, and this fish couldn't resist. Look at the size of that fish. Holy crap, we've got to keep this fish on the line. Drag is set for 30 right now. We do not want to lose this fish. This is a big ass fish right here. And this fish is going to take a little bit of time and effort to pull them into our bucket. You have really got to tire these muskies out. And they don't tire that easily. All right, come on. Come on, big old muskie. Lift up that rod tip, let him run. Don't want to put too much strain on this. We have a poor hook set here. And look at the size of that fish. Wow, that is a huge fish. I mean, we might win the tournament with one fish. Highly unlikely, but it could happen. You never know. There are also some very good named trophy fish back in this little spot here. And this might be one of them. This is an enormous, huge, big fish. And we have got to put this boy in our bucket. Look at this thing. Wow. Let him run. Tire himself out. Now pull the rod tip up and start reeling him back in. Come on, fishy. Tire yourself out. Oh, let him run. Let him run. They get a little feisty. And we don't want to lose this guy. This is an enormously huge fish. I think I've said that before. I mean, you guys can see it. It's right there in the water. Oh, come on, fish. Look, he's just swimming by us. He's teasing us. Saying, look how big I am. Man, these fish are fighters. They do not tire out easily. It is going to take us a minute to bring this guy in. I mean, he should be getting tired. I'm getting tired. Getting tired of fighting this big ass fish. Oh, don't go back in there. Don't go back in there. All right, come on back. Come on out. Oh, please. Please get in our bucket. I mean, these fish could take a solid five minutes to land them. You never know. It just depends on how big they are. And this is a big mom. Oh, here he comes. Oh my God, look at the size of that fish. That is unbelievable. Trophy catch, I told you, it's Athena. It's a named trophy catch under the bridge, 54.35 inches. Wow, that is awesome. And this is the kind of fish I was talking about, Athena. Oh yeah, put her in the bucket. Wow, unbelievable, one fish. 54 inches. Let's try and catch another one. Here we go. Same retrieval method. I'm telling you, 
There are other trophy fish back in here. Named trophy fish, like Leviathan, I think, is one of them. And it's just letting that bait fall, bringing it back up, letting it fall over and over again. Still no takers on rod number one or two, and that's fine. If we catch a catfish in addition to catching another one of these, I mean, that's we're a shoe in to win the tournament. All right, under five minutes left to go in this round. And we have got to catch another one of these big ass fish. Currently sitting in 30th spot. I gotta tell you, I thought we'd be doing better than this. Oh, a big muskie just came up and swiped at it. Oh, we're running out of time. Oh man, two minutes left in the round. I don't think we're gonna have enough time to pull another big one out of here. Dropping down the leaderboard. Oh boy, this is not gonna end well. All right, we're just gonna chuck this bad boy right out in the uh, main body of water here. Still about five feet, and we're just gonna constant retrieval back, level two. Oh, I thought we would be doing much better than this. This is kind of disappointing. Practice went so well, and I don't know what's happening. One minute left to go. Nothing happening. I mean, I see some big predator fish out there. I just don't uh, don't know how to catch them here. Oh man, about 10 seconds left to go. We got nothing. We are pretty much in last place, and that sucks. All right, round one, we caught one yeah, fish. I mean, yeah, it's an awesome yeah, fish, don't get me yeah. wrong. Athena, trophy catch, 54.35 inches, but uh, not enough to move up the ranks here. All right, round two, same thing, total length. We have got to get on the board here and make up for that first round. All right, round two, three, two, one. Let's get to the water. All right, we're, you know what? We're going to try the same thing. I mean, I have faith that this is gonna work. It worked in practice. We are at 99th spot here. All right, let's go ahead and claim this peg. Here we go, 97% cast strength. We're just gonna flip that out there and put the rod down. All right, here we go, rod number two going right out there towards that wall. All right, rod number three, trying the same thing. Here we go, 97% cast strength. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. Five minutes gone by here in this round number two and we're, we're still sitting in a nice, nice spot. No takers on rod numbers one or two. Oh boy, maybe it's the rain. Catfish aren't biting. We got one trophy catch. Oh, there we go, ba-bam! Oh, ba-bam, oh, it's too late. Oh man, look out. We had a fish on. Oh, we couldn't get it. It was right at the last minute. And that is disappointing. Right at the last minute, a fish took it. I mean, there are fish here. Just kind of bring it up to the top of the water and it's that stop and go action. Little twitches. Oh, we got to keep trying. 11 minutes left to go in the tournament. And uh, I'll tell you the truth, I, I just uh, I don't know what to do here. I was not prepared to do this bad. Still in 99th spot. I mean, Tobias Berger, it shows you how bad Tobias Berger is as a fisherman. He's still sitting in 100 spot. Jeez. All right, 10 minutes left to go. We're going to try it back under here again. Right now, our confidence is shot. Oh man, probably one of the worst outings we have had as a professional fisherman here. Pro Predator Tour is kicking our ass, and it's only the first event. As you can see though, eight minutes left in the tournament, and Reese Taylor in first place still has the same weight that he had at the beginning of the round. So no one's catching fish right now. All right, well, here's what we've done. We have changed it up to a worm. When all else fails, worms work. Let's just fling that bad boy out there. And we're going to let this thing sink all the way to the bottom. And we're just going to slow crawl this worm back to us. I don't know what else to do. I mean, honest to God, we just need one more trophy fish and we'd be in first place. I mean, we're only 30 inches away. All right, back to the big dog. It's got to work. It was working during practice. Oh, come on. We got five minutes and 50 seconds left. Nobody's catching any fish. We need one freaking fish. Oh, there are some big fish swimming around this bait here. Come on. Oh my god, there are fish swimming right around it. Alright, one of these two baits, rod number one or rod number two, one of them moved. Oh, and I didn't hear the bells going off. Oh boy, son of a bitch. Oh, that could have been the one that, the one that wins us the tournament. And I swear, look, Reese Taylor still 86.18 inches of fish. And that's what he had when he started this round. No one's catching fish here. Wow. Oh, here we go. Ba bam Oh, perfect strike. Oh, there we go. There's a fish on and it's a big one. We got one minute and 25 seconds left to go. This could be the fish that puts us into first place. Raising up the drag. 
We're going to go to a 35. 36. Who cares? Come on. Come on, fish. We got one minute to pull this fish in, and I don't think it's going to happen. These fish usually take two or three minutes to pull in, but we are going to keep trying here. Come on, fishy. Oh, come on, fishy. This is the one that we need. Please don't let us run out of time. I mean, all this time sitting around here trying to get these fish and one bites at the last minute and 20 seconds, they're laughing at us. They're like, ha ha, you're not gonna have time to pull us in. Look, I swear, I will punch this fish in the face. I would, if that time runs out, I'm jumping into the water and I'm gonna punch him in the face. That's it, 30 seconds left. There's no way we're bringing this fish in. Come on, fishy. 25 seconds. Come on. Oh, come on, fishy. 15 seconds left. Get in the bucket. Come on. Oh, he's swimming away. 10 seconds left. No way it's going to happen. There's no way. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, man. Son of a... That's it. We're jumping in the water. Punch him in the face. No results for round two. Well, there we are. 100th place. And that is embarrassing. Well, there's our new position. 100th. We have zero points for the season. And there's only like five events a season. This is not going to be good for us. We got zero money. As a matter of fact, our new sponsors, Great Clips, they're like, look, we're not cutting your hair. All right? Jeez, a whiz. That is awful. Oh, probably one of the most disappointing episodes of the series so far. In 41 episodes, we have never had anything this embarrassing in our lives. I mean... I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know how we can face the other fishermen. We kicked ass on every other tour that we entered, and now this Pro Predator tour is kicking our ass. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to say. Tell you what, though, the Sunshine State Championship, Lake Johnson, Florida. We are going to go into Florida, and we're going to kick Florida's ass. And then we got Birdsea, which, man, that sucks. I mean, all these bodies of water over in Europe and England and... Austria, wherever the hell they are. We can't catch any predator fish there. I'm telling you, hardest fishing in the game is what we just experienced. I mean, Lake Johnson, here's Lake Miller at the end, Lake Travis. We're going to win all those. I'm completely confident. I know all the hot spots, but the Grand Union and Birdsea, come on, awful. Leave it in the comments down below. How the hell do you catch fish, predator fish, at these places? Is anyone having any luck here? I don't think so. And if you are, you have to leave it in the comments down below and you have to subscribe to the channel and you have to hit that like button. It's the rules. I mean, I mean, honestly, the way we performed in this episode, I don't know. You guys might think about unsubscribing to the channel. I mean, I wouldn't blame you, but you, you can't do that. The YouTube will come to your house. They'll find you. And you can't, it's part of their rules. You can't unsubscribe from the Overly Gaming Project. As a matter of fact, you got to share this video, share my other videos, share the series. You got to call a friend. Tell them about this channel and tell them to subscribe. And do it right now. Go ahead, I'll wait. No, I'm not going to wait. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to end this episode because it's frustrating. Grand Union, thanks a lot. I mean, Great Britain. Nobody wants to go there anyway. I heard in Great Britain, they drink their beer kind of warm. And that's disturbing to me. I'm just saying. But the one thing about Great Britain, and I'm just going to put it out here in this video, they dip their french fries in mayonnaise. And I'm telling you, if you have never done that before, do it. It is freaking awesome. And that's how we're going to end the episode, on an awesome, positive vibe when we think about dipping french fries in mayonnaise. It's delicious. And, uh, and that's it. And we're going to see you in the next episode. Thank you guys for your support. We're going to come back in Lake Johnson, Florida, and, uh, and we're going to win. And if we don't win, we might quit. No, we would not do that, but we are going to win. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. So tune in, come back, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification. Do all the stuff that you have to do. You already know what you have to do. Just do it. Watch every single video I've ever made three times in a row, and that will perk me up enough to win the Sunshine State Championship on Lake Johnson in Florida in the next episode. Come on back. But most importantly, thank you guys for letting me be a part of your day. It means a lot. We are going to see you right back here in the next video.